Guys, welcome to set, sorry, game four of set one between Striker and Seriosity. Thus far, Striker has swept the matches. Upper right we have Striker starting as the blue, actually, can we do the color swap? No, just kidding. Upper right we have Striker starting as the blue Zerg. Up left and corner, we have Seriosity starting as the red Protoss. Other trick of this, as far as the fighting spirit tournament, if I did not mention it, it is also double elimination. So not only do you have best of sevens through the winner's bracket, you also have best of sevens through the loser's bracket as well. So that's, again, seven sets of seven games, which it's a lot of games, all on Fighting Spirit. The true, yeah, true ruling opener. I mean, this is, as far as who is the best player in a heads up whatever, this is the ultimate tournament. I have to say, it's not even point in time because it like spans time. So it's over a given set of time that these guys are better. Anyway, we'll see if Seriosity can adjust. That'll be the trick here. Thus far, Striker has shown a very aggressive macro style we've seen in games one through three. And this is just part of the, the first grouping set. I'm wondering if there was a pause between the first set and the second. This time, opening up nine pool with Extractor. Sorry, canceling that Extractor. Bottom left hand corner, Seriosity scouting. He's going counterclockwise. Overlord's making its way to the bottom right hand corner as well. So initial Zerglings being produced. Seriosity has tried to sneak a 12 Nexus here and there, and he has paid for it a lack of cannons uh, once. Let's see if he's going to go for a Forge opener once again. He is dropping the Forge a little bit late, honestly, overall. So I'm almost wondering if there is going to be a window for these Zerglings to flood out. A second Probe Scout being shifted out for Seriosity. He really wants to know whether he can get this Nexus up or not. Three Zerglings are being produced, and he actually is going to have to move down a third probe, yeah, to be in time, potentially, to deal with the Zerglings that will be spawning. The drone coming out on this timing should give Seriosity an idea. He's moving into the main now, so he's going to see the Zerglings spawning. He is plopping that cannon down upon seeing that, and a double cannon at that, just to make extra sure the Zerglings now peeling their way out. Keep in mind, Striker doesn't have... A good idea of positioning in the midst of this, the probes returning back home. But it looks like, is he going to go across map? It looks like he is going to pick the correct direction. The cannon, it should be there in plenty of... Never mind, he's going cross. Scout the Zergling running the upper left will find the correct location to reposition. However, with two drones... Sorry, two drones. Two probes on the map should give Striker an idea... Or sorry, should give Seriosity an idea of what Striker's up to. Might have opportunities, although this probe, I take it back, he's going to wander in. I was wondering if he was keeping the probes out just because he wanted to keep that scouting information alive. I'm also wondering if Striker, let's see if he's going for Zergling speed, does not look like, well, he doesn't have that extractor. Has grabbed that third hatch, actually, well before. I think he grabbed that third hatch just before extractor between. It looks like he's going to go for more standard play. Seriosity keeping this probe alive. The Zergling's now coming back to the main to go ahead and take that probe out play the game from there. Gateway on the front door. We do have that assimilator going up for Seriosity. He lost a lot of mining time early having those two probes out and losing, and that stacks up over time. Zergling's able to get that initial hit that does open up some possibilities here because there are three hatcheries and that could turn into a potential 973 situation and immediately Striker actually dropping that Hydralis den. Interesting. And we'll see if this does, in fact, turn into a Hydralisk bust. So rather than going for three hatch play, second probe moving out. This is going to be the trick of the success of this, potentially. Now, granted, Striker can readjust. Probe able to sneak out there. Two Zerglings are blocking the ramp. That is going, But there is going to be critical information gleaned from the amount of drones at the natural expansion. The probe actually able to just sneak by and critically going to see that Hydralisk den. And that should prompt Seriosity to go ahead and get more defenses up on his, or at least be prepared to get more defenses up at his main. He's now moving to the 3 o'clock location. He got five drones, so currently nine, now it's nine six. One drone already out. So Seriosity has an idea that this production could turn into a lot of Hydralisks. So he does need to be prepared, potentially, to follow this up with a lot of cannons just to stay alive. It looks like at the very least it is, uh, yeah, seven on the natural expansion. We are seeing the three. So we do have the drones in place to do that. The Zealot sneaking out to the south 
Five Zerglings trying to kite with them. I think this is mostly to try to interrupt at that third, force the Hydralisks to engage right there. More Hydralisks. The Hydralisk production beginning. Now keep in mind, even with cannons getting wiped out, Striker is very capable of turning it into a follow-up contain, although it is a little bit more difficult after that. The Zealots actually making their way back to the front, and now the cannons critically being placed. Now, oftentimes, this can be an indicator, is that Overlord pressing a little bit forward to potentially absorb initial forge hits and th initial forge, initial cannon hits and things like that. Oftentimes, in a more defensive stance, the Overlord will stay back. In the meantime, Seriosity does have a Citadel of Dune. He's going for leg speed. Is grabbed that second gateway. He needs to hurry up and get some additional cannons down, potentially. The Hydral is continuing to flood out. The Probe Scout still trying to find positioning to see whether to try to get a good look at how many, what a dedication of Hydralis this is. Gateways down, the Forge still remaining untouched, potentially because range is not quite finished, should finish in not too long. Second cannon, sorry, fourth cannon, second pylon to help defend the front. Striker losing one Hydralis to a little bit of carelessness. Range now finished. And four Zealots are there. Should be able to take out this Forge before level 1 weapons finishes. And nice positioning by Striker. Still flooding additional Hydralisks forward. It looks like he is just going to stick on the 973 play and just go for a potential bust. Now are four cannons and the Zealot enough with Seriosity's Micro. Moving in now. Able to pick up the lower cannon. The Zealot's able to get on top of the Hydralisks. A second cannon down. Another Forge being planted. But this looks like it's going to be enough Hydralisks to go ahead and wipe out Everything at this natural expansion. Seriosity in trouble. A zealot coming down from the high ground. The probes flooding out. And more reinforcements moving in. Certainly probes going to get wiped out. Blocking the ramp now. To go ahead and cut off reinforcements from defense. And also hit these probes as they're in retreat. The probes coming across the line to try to drone drill. And with the zealot. And also provide additional sense uh, defense. These Hydralis are getting a little bit distracted by the pylons there on the front. But a lot of probes getting lost at the natural. The Zelts with leg speed now running down. Trying to engage. But it is too little too late. Seriosity loses. And that is going to be 4-0 in the first set. Striker completely acing the entire first grouping. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We will move on to the second set. Which is again a best of seven on Fighting Spirit. Thanks for listening.